Probably more than one alive person. Oh, hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire and warm up a bit. The crash site? How did you know about the... The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffered from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. Yeah, Warma. But where are we? I think that's this question. What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses became too cold, and it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? <coughs> yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. At this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. She's using her doctor title very freely. Back, she's not that type of doctor. What can be done for them? I'm warming up nicely. Let's see, with my doctor's eye, um, Pastor, Winston is at 67%. Cl 
Chloe here is at 73%. Bennett is at 81%. And yes, I know their names because Santa rules. Franklin here is at 77%. No, Eric. Now we got to save him first. Let's see what's wrong here. Hydrated. I've done what I can. Yeah, no one else matters here. Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. Insulin. I don't know about that one. That might be on the plane. Hmm. I'll see if I can help. Might be serious. He might have actually been the only person. Did I just? I'm pretty. Yeah. <coughs> Asher, why would you do this? Let's see what's wrong here. You're the only one. Let me have a look, okay? That I can really not do is him over there because he needs insulin, which I uh, know where I gotta go. Come on, let's talk. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold and also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need. But there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die well then we need to find some and soon before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside I need to remain with the survivors minister to them but you you can go and look for the medicine they need I will any suggestions you have would be very useful most the of the surrounding houses will be empty but you may find some of yeah, the kind of them out. you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Mm -hmm. well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone, and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. 
people need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit. I've seen it earlier than you think. my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I, I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site. It would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Let's look where this crash site is. That's a that's a long way. That's like a day trip by itself. If I take this way. And then Yeah, if I go to like the crash site, then I can wrap around to this house. And that that would be good. And then I can spend the rest of that time coming back. I think that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Who's calling? So, you're still alive. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not gonna leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves crawling? <laughs> doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well, I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure. Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Well, I can't play around here. I gotta go. Gotta go behind. Like the. I gotta go around this way.
Nope, still going the wrong way. I gotta use this bridge. Yeah. Isn't this bridge how it got here? Am I facing the right direction? No, I'm facing the wrong direction. I do have to take the bridge. Sewing kit. A rite of passage for the few younger folk who remained in Pleasant Valley during recent years. Hunting for the cave was one way to seek refuge from the reality of the region's extreme isolation. A way to leave without leaving. That's a dead body. This old guy has struck off who knows where. But there's bound to be some gear left behind. Anyway, we're out of options. Hmm. This stuff will come in handy. Not isn't. I mean I can I guess rip it apart. Water purification, more antiseptic. I'll take some accelerant since I know how to use it now. Newspaper print. I think I can use this. Some water. This anymore. Yeah, I'll take that. Already have enough coffee. Probably shouldn't do this right here. I should probably go ahead and uh, go to the plane. This will come in handy. I might need to wear those though. I'm already way too heavy. Okay, let me actually check again. I mean, I'm wearing two pair of jeans now, so... It's like, literally the same pair. Okay, so let me see... just drop these. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna drop these too. I'm gonna have to fix some of these. Oh no, no, that's not what I want. I want to leave these here, and I'll pick them up later if I remember.
Okay, take the bridge, and I'm good. Oh, I see it. Nope. Okay, that can't be good. Timberwolf morale. Timberwolf packs have morale indicated by the meter. Timberwolf morale can be broken by shooting or throwing things at them. Packs with broken morale will flee, but may return once they recover. Think, Astrid, think. Hey, beef jerky. This will come in handy. Okay, where are y'all at? My aim is not that good, but I can run. Oh. Mm-mm, not doing that. I'm just gonna avoid it completely. Okay, I, I've been out here way too long. I'm ahead for that um house. Okay, this is the house I was looking for. It's not even a full house. No, it's, it's not even a house. Oh, I guess it is. <sighs> it's actually warm in here. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. it. Newspaper clipping. Stolen from a church in Thompson's Crossing. The artifact was gifted to the parish by a prominent local landowner decades ago, according to Father Thomas, the local parish priest. Although its mandatory value is considerable for members of our church, it is a spiritual matter as well, he said. What am I looking for? Delivered letter. I need to find food. Hi, Cindy. Well, my Cindy. What now, honey? No cash? Nothing coming. I had to do something. Everyone's gone. I don't know where this ends, but I'm sorry either way. Things up above on the ridge, in that empty basement, maybe we can trade it for a way out of here. So that's what I saw up here, up there, on my way here. Yeah, I need some. I will be sleeping soon.
Okay, it's good to go. I hope me fixing her clothes actually does stuff. Why is it so cold still? Why is it falling so much? I thought that was a bear. is here. cooking I'll look around looks like this has been here a while that's that's heavy yeah I can't run anymore how long is this fire I, I didn't actually add anything to it 16 minutes Oh, is Molly gonna call me? No, I still can't run. Because I picked up that jerry can. What I can do is probably fill up my lantern. Can I do? No, I don't. I don't want to do that. Do I have any afflictions? Wait, my food is ready. Hmm. This is what. That is for okay. I see. Um, let's uh, cook some herbal tea. While well, I think about my next move, I see that bridge over there. I'm trying to go right. Where am I? Stop that. Sure 
And I still can't shoot. Other boss fights in this game. This is hard. Okay, let's search this plane. Okay, what we got in here? Got a few suitcases. Got a first aid kit. Well, this stuff will come in handy. I don't want to stand right here too long because this is an incline. It's not warm enough. I'll take some of these. I think I can use this. Yeah, let me let me check those out. What's this? There's more plane. Okay. Lots of sodas. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, I'll take that. Lots of sodas. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. We got food in here now. Um. 47 is a, I'll risk it. A9. There are too many of these packs to actually like rip. seen one body. Here's some more.
Is this a flare gun? I thought I heard somebody. Might be where I set up camp. Starting to feel numb. So this is the passenger list. This looks like the plane's passenger manifest. Well, this stuff will come in handy. <laughs> She's still alive. Let me check these other suitcases. Though. Found the insulin. Found it. I'll burn this. Uh, I don't. It's crazy, Beth. I could just leave. It's too cold. Just think. Your life. Say after you looted all that stuff. Help me. I'm here. I'm here to help. Please. It hurts. Make it stop. You've been in a crash. You're in shock. But I can help you. Just let me start a fire. Too far gone. You've lost a lot of blood, and you have frostbite. But it's okay. It's gonna be okay. If Astra can come back, I'm we a can doctor. get you back. I can help you. Please. I want this to be over. Sleep Research Center, Dr. Greenwood speaking. Did you get it? I told you not to call here. I'm sorry, but I'm scared. I am working on it. It's getting worse. We have to do something. I'm going as fast as I can. You said you'd help. You said you had something that could help her. Look, I can't just... Look, it is in a secure area of the lab. I can't just walk out with it. There are security protocols and- Astrid, it's getting worse. You have to do something. You understand that better than anyone. Yes, I do. Find a way and get up here as soon as you can. I, I will, as soon as I can figure out how to- I'll find a way to get it to you. Have you asked Will? No. It's been years since we... I haven't asked him yet. We don't have time for this, Astrid. You need to do this. And soon. I will. I'll fix it. I promise I will get there. I'm afraid it's happening again, Astrid. I'm afraid we'll lose her this time. That's not gonna happen. Hurry, Astrid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you're in pain and you just wanted to end, but I won't let you die out here. Yep, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna. This is a huge fire. It's too windy to start a fire here. Where can I start this fire? Can I move you? 
I gotta find all the IDs. I'm zooming now. Yeah, I've already checked you. I didn't go too far because I found that flare. I found you too. I've never felt so cold in my life. Oh, right here. That has to be all of them, right? I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. That wasn't all the IDs. I don't think I saw you. Damn, I'm freezing. that one. Apparently I missed this one too. Let's see what's wrong here. Let's see if I can bandage her up. Get some rest now. You need it. Now can I start a fire? It's okay. It's okay. I might die carrying her. <sighs> I'm not, I can't make it. I just gotta make it right there. I don't even know if I want to continue right now. I could eat a horse. Make it after all. Sandlock, so. sleep somewhere. Sleep beside him, I guess. Let me have a look, okay? 
I don't have enough water. I'm gonna have to melt snow. Said it was gonna take an hour. Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't do that yet. What I have to do is I can't drink it. I wanna use this. This might be serious. Should be better. Okay, I only have an hour on this fire, so I'll we'll probably need to uh, make war water. It's okay. It's okay. How do I leave? Just have to put you down. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I need to stop. <laughs> 